He put the PlayStation down and looked up at me as if I had just asked the dumbest, dumbest question in the world. Why would people be mean? He said. It was the first time in his life that I heard him be sar sarcastic like that. I didn't think he had it in him. I didn't think he had it. He had it in him. I didn't think he had it in him. He had it in him. It in him. It in him. The Padawan buys the dust. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at what point that night I had cut off his Padawan braid, or why that made me really mad. I had always found his obsession with everything Star Wars kind of geek, zicky. At that braid in the back of his hair, with its little beads, was just awful. But he had always been so proud of it. Of how long it took him to grow it, of how he had chosen the bees himself in a craft store in Soho. He and Christopher, his best friends, used to play with the light shavers and the Star Wars stuff whenever they got together. And they had both started growing their braids at the same time. When August cut his braid off that night, Without an explanation, without telling me of her hand, which was surprising, or even calling Christopher, I was just so upset, I can't even explain why. I've seen Augie brushing his hair in the bathroom mirror. He meticulously tries to get every hair in place. He tilts his head to look at himself from different angles. Like there's just some magic perspective inside the mirror that could change the dimensions of his face. Mom knocked on my door after dinner. She looked drained, and I realized that between me and Augie, today had been a tough day for her too. So you want to tell me what's up? She asked nicely, softly. Not now, okay? I answered. I was reading. I was tired. Maybe later. I'd be up to telling her about the Miranda, but not now. I'll check in before you go to bed, <clears throat> she said. And then she came over and kissed me on the, on the top of my head. Can Daisy sleep with me tonight? Sure, I'll bring her in later. Don't forget to come back, I said as she left. I promise. But she didn't come back that night. Dad did. He told me Augie had a. Uh, he told me Augie had a, had a bad first day, and Mom was helping him through it. He asked me how my day had gone, and I told him fine. He said he didn't believe me for a second, and I told him Miranda and Ella were acting like jerks. I didn't mention how I took the. Uh, how I took the subway home by by myself though. He said nothing past his friendships like high school, and then proceeded to pro poke fun at the fa at the fact that I was reading War and Peace. Not real fun, of course, since I'd heard him brag to people that he had a 15-year-old who is reading Tolstoy, but he liked to rip me about where I was in the book, in a war part or in a peace part. And if there was anything in there about Napoleon's Napoleon's days as a hip hop dancer, it was just silly stuff. But Dad always managed to make everyone everyone laugh, and sometimes that's all you needed to feel better. Don't be mad at Mom," he said as he bent down to give me a good night kiss. You know how much she worries about Augie. I know. I acknowledge. Acknowledge it. Want the light on or off? It's getting kind of late, he said, posing by the、uh, posing by the light switch at the door. Can you bring Daisy in first? Two seconds later, he came back with Daisy dangling in his arms, and he laid her down next to me on the bed. Good night, sweetheart, he said, kissing my forehead. He kissed the daisy on her forehead too. Good night, girlie. Sweet dreams.